There's a guy above you. There's a guy below you. Great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. How can you see my house, sir? You must have amazing vision. Monkey bars. I've been on monkey bars in a long time. Wait. Headshot. I wonder if that counts for a headshot. There we go. Nearly there. Yeah, but why are the lights still on? Chloe will take care of it, don't worry. Someone ain't doing a job. I think I'm gonna have to smirk over, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Though I will take her pay. I mean, if she ain't gonna do the work. I'm, I might as well get a haircut. Oh, whoa, there's a guy right there. Sweet dreams. Oh, God. Killed a few people in this. Shit. We can't get any closer to the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. That's my girl. Seriously, this game plays like a movie. Oops. Ah. Uh. It, it seems like a movie. Just like everything that happens and what not. Faster, so faster. Come okay. on. We clear. No, I'll just be over here looking stupid. Ha! Huh. Kick you in the face. Because <laughs> you're going to deserve it. Go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> We're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. Light of the Great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. Is that really a good idea in here? And... Whoa. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shembala. The curse of the Chintamani. Will that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit. 
Do you think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flint, listen. Face it, genius. You've been playing. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? What did I say? Asshole. We're already into literacy. God, that guy is such a douchebag. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. What the fuck, man? What, what the hell are you doing? You were like jumping in place and stuff. You're supposed to go over the ledge. God. Yeah, I know. Flynn's an asshole. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Oh, I'll just go through this way then. I gotta get out of here. Thank you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> wow, is it right here? Oh no, that's not the one. This is. Wow, we started right next to it. Huh. <coughs> oh god, where do I go now? Yep. Uh. <coughs> oh god. At least there's no guy. Right. At least there's no guys down here. How are they all in the sewers already? See you, suckers. Uh. You just know ironic shit's gonna happen when he says stuff like that. One little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate. They found the ships in Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. 
And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <laughs> Chapter 3, okay, Borneo. I've planted <clears throat> all the of the camp. You two just need to uh, go ahead and read subtitles if you want people. Right I'm going to talk. Oh, wait. Well, here's the first charge. I also left the detonator for you. Uh-huh. There we are. All right. First one set. Don't touch the button. This one? <laughs> like how we're revisiting some old characters. Got Victor Sullivan from game one here. <laughs> They'll never know what hit him. Just be careful. Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Psh, his men are pussies. Compared to Nathan Drake. <laughs> 